Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the New York Empoleon's Week 8 Team Builder of the PAC. We are here this week taking on the Immunity Idols, coached by Mount A. I was instructed that I'd been saying it wrong, and it's like, Mountain, but with a stronger A, and not like Mount Haya, which is what it looks like it is, and apparently really angers some people when I say it like that, which is kind of funny, because like, isn't that the one thing the Pokemon community gets the most angry about is when you mispronounce names? Anyway, that's who we're taking on this week. If you haven't seen them before, go check them out. Links in the description below. Of course, as are all the coaches in the PAC this season, um, and they are really, really good. The end of this season, we got a four and two start, which was really good for us. Um, like that was a super helpful start. Um, but then the end of the season is Matt, um, and then Mount Hay, and then Mike, and the, those three have just are incredible battlers and we just need to, to claw and like barely qualify for playoffs is good enough for me i would love to qualify in the top six so i get a buy round uh but i don't think it's gonna be an easy matchup come playoffs no matter what i would just love to get one round further you know um not have to worry about it and uh winning this battle would go a long way to doing that would almost guarantee us a spot in playoffs there's only two weeks left of the regular season so hopefully we can get that but anyway um my opponent's team this week is Inteleon, Tornadus Eye, Kartana, Victini, Miltank, Rotom Wash, Gudra, Nidoqueen, Pangaro, and Hatterene. And honestly, horrifying. Really, really good team. Really scary. Um, and I don't have answers to like a lot of the threats on this team. At bare minimum, uh, Assault Vest Gudra just sits on most of my mons, and I had to come up with like strategic plans to deal with that. And, though I am the last person who will ever like admitting this, Kartana's got a pretty good matchup here. And I'm upset about it, because like, how can you draft a team that's bad against Kartana? Um, anyway, of course I have the inferior Rotom form as well, um, Inteleon's a threat, Victini's a threat always, Nidoqueen is annoying, Pangaro is the only dark resist, but um... Aegislash, our first Mon here, and it's going to be rocking out with King Shield, Shadow Ball, Toxic, and Flash Cannon. Um, and this is going to be... I, again, I only had 48 hours to build, so a lot of these sets are going to be fairly, like, standard looking. And this is just a specially defensive set. Um, it's almost... I think it's exactly the same EV spread as last week's Aegislash, um, just because it worked this week as well. Um, but it's just it's just going to help me deal with some of those special threats. Um, it's not going to come in on the physical Mons as much. Um, I noticed during Mox that it was definitely taking more special hits than physical on the Mons it wanted to counter, so that was really helpful to have that extra special defense. Originally, it was physically defensive, but I switched it over to special defense. Next up is Rotom Heat. This is my answer to Kartana, sort of, but it like doesn't love switching into a Kartana. It is um, basically max Fizz Def. There's 12 speed to make sure I'm outspeeding a 4 speed Rotom Wash, um, just in case that's what they go for. Um, if I can calc that, and I do have other mons that can maybe help me like determine the Rotom Wash's speed tier. Um, but if I can determine that it is 4 speed or below, then Volt Switch uh, is super free against it and just gives me a chance to get out. Um, additionally, Pain Split could be useful against a lot of mons on this roster. And I actually went with Thunder Wave over uh, Will-O-Wisp because the mons that are going to switch in don't care about Will-O-Wisp. Um, the Gudra could switch in on this. Um, Miltank, if it has Seismic Toss, doesn't care about Will-O-Wisp. Victini could switch in predicting a Willow or an Overheat um, and tank it. So I decided to go with Thunder Wave because it handles a lot of the speed problems. Additionally, it doesn't matter. Hatterene would wall either one and neither one come back to me. So it didn't matter for that. Um, but I like the Thunder Wave speed control here. Um, and then Volt Switch is just useful for me to have. Otherwise, we're just fully physically defensive. This is going to be taking on more of those physical mons. Like the Mill Tank, the Kartana, if it's, especially if it's choiced, potentially choiced Victini. Um, I, can, I can take those on a little bit better with the Rotom. And uh, hopefully that'll be enough. It's not a great answer to Kartana, though, I'm going to be honest. So hopefully it does enough work here that it can it can get me to the next stage of the game. Speaking of the next stage of the game, uh, we have Scarfed Urshifu. I mean, this is just this is just an Urshifu. Oh, no, it's Bandit. Sorry, I lied. It's not Scarfed. It's Bandit. Haha, <laughs> tricked you. Anyway, uh, it's going to be a Bandit Urshifu this week. I could have gone Scarfed. I thought about going Scarfed. Scarfed is good, but it, they have one Dark Resistance Pangaro, so like... I'm gonna hit Wicked Blow. Um, <laughs> gonna do Wicked Blow things and do things and guard, you just, just, it's Urshifu. All right, next mod, that was the wrong direction, is Tapu Fini. Tapu Fini this week is going to be rocking out with the Calm, specially defensive set as well. Um, again, this team 
despite having really big physical threats like Kartana, um, most of what I'm worried about is special. Um, Inteleon is just a pain to deal with. Um, Nidoqueen Queen is just hard to switch into. And Rotom Wash is something that is really good against my roster. So um, just having more specially defensive mons gives me a chance to maybe just take one more hit and deal with some threats. Now, this doesn't have Water Staff, so it really isn't a Nido Queen answer, but that's not super surprising because Nido Queen just bodies it, even if I'm specially defensive. But Nature's Madness can get me 50% on anything. Uh, doesn't matter if it's Gudra, uh, it just gets me 50%. Knock Off, I actually think, is better than Water Stab this week. Um, I would never click the Water Stab with the Rotom Wash likely coming in, the Kartana maybe getting a free switch in, but getting a Knock Off off on anything is just incredibly viable here. It's just super helpful gives me information about what the set might be, and then additionally gives me a chance to um, to get rid of whatever the item is and just hopefully not lose to, like, Scarf Kartana, not lose to even, like, Sniper, Scope Lens, and Teleon has a really good matchup here. My opponent can do basically anything he wants, and it's just going to work. So my goal is to try to disrupt that as much as possible, and I think that this is one of the mons that really helps me do that, giving me a 50%, you know, damage chip as well as um, knockoff support is just going to be helpful there. Next up is Acceleroc. Nope, that's a Lycan Rock. <laughs> I mean, we'll might as well call it Acceleroc at this point. Uh, with Play Rough, Drill Run, Fire Fang, and Lycan Rock as its moves. And it is going to be Life Orbed and just trying to do damage. Um, this thing has a pretty solid speed tier, in my opinion. Um, we did just go max speed, so we outspeed the Kartana. We do have the Fire Fang. It could be Aka Berry, um, but we're just going to be rocking out with the Fire Fang because I don't hit it, hit it with anything else harder than Fire Fang, so I might as well go for it. If they kill me, they kill me. Life Orb Fire Fang still doing a chunk to it. Um, otherwise, this just has a very, very good matchup. The two things that outspeed it, Inteleon and Torn do not appreciate Acceleroc. Um, Victini, you know, if it's if it tries to be speedy, um, Acceler getting it in Acceleroc range is not that hard. Like if it is Flame Charge or Scarf Victini, um, getting an Acceleroc range is not that hard for my roster. Um, and Acceleroc plus Sucker Punch on the Urshi really does actually do work here. That's really what I'm relying on. Player of helps against things like the Gudra, Drill Run helps against things like the Nidoqueen, Queen, and hopefully we can just go through the team with this. Um, this is sort of a win con despite being Life Orb. Usually when it's Life Orb, you think of it as a Breaker, but we're going to use it maybe as a Cleaner instead. Next up is Toxtricity, and this is going to be fun. It is an Air Balloon Toxtricity with Boom Burst, Shift Gear, Acid Spray, and Volt Switch. Yeah, Shift Gear, Volt Switch, we're doing it with Acid Spray, and then Boom Burst is the only move. Well, guess what? They have no Ghost. So, Boom Burst is super spammable. The only mons that it is not better to click Boom Burst against are Gudra, because I need to click Acid Spray first, and... Um, So that's why I decided to go with Boom Burst as basically the mono attacking move for this set. And Volt Switch is just good if I'm not trying to set up the uh, shift gear right away. Can get me in, get me out. Um, and yeah, so Air Balloon helps uh, just be a surprise, I think, more than anything else to my opponent. Um, EQ Mill Tank was actually annoying for this. It couldn't set up on it otherwise. But I can take a Body Slam or whatever and set up a shift gear. Um, and then Boom Burst really threatens the whole roster. Um, and then, yeah, the Air Balloon pops, but at least I got off you know, big damage on something. Um, and uh, Gudra with Earthquake was also potentially a pain. Uh, Draco, obviously, is also a pain, but, like, Earthquake's more scary uh, for this particular set. And then Nido Queen can't really touch me if I have an Air Balloon, so gives me, like, one out, one time to just click Boom Burst, and I think that could help in this game quite a bit. And that's it. I totally lost track of where we were, uh, but that's the team. So that's what we're going to rock with this week. Um, hopefully you are all excited and I will see you guys all back here tomorrow with that battle. Take care, everybody.